welcome back to easy spirit 101 happy friday i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thank you for being here thank you for watching let's see what's going on i feel like somebody needs some extra like guidance or comfort yeah this deceit was hiding underneath temple path so if someone is someone is pretending to be someone pretends to be spiritual or religious but really, they're like this. I'll clarify that in a minute. What exactly is going on? What exactly this person is hiding? I don't know why, but I'm also really drawn to um, this person. Part of what they do to charm people is like compliment them compliment like oh my god i love what you're wearing oh my god your hair looks beautiful something like this and there's something like hypnotic this like i'm drawn to the swirl that this person has a way of like hypnotizing people i don't like this energy but it's coming out so we're gonna go into it someone here probably needs to know this This person knows how to hypnotize people and how to kind of get their get their attention or get them in their grasp by like knowing they like intuitively know where the person enjoys to be complimented the most something something like that this could be a man with this coming out with the thinking man This person, this person, for some of you, this is like a male person who's, or this could be you. This could be you trying to get out of this situation, um, especially with these adjacent possibilities, looking for some so other outcome. I don't know why when I was initially reading this energy, I felt like this was a woman coming through with this deceitful temple path energy. So I could be talking to a masculine you could be an air sign, but it doesn't have to be. Or someone who's just very logical. You, you tend to think from the logical side of things. Or for some of you, you're a feminine and you're dealing with a masculine. And this is like the type of energy they, they possess. I feel like there's um, kind of a, a hint or a sign to be aware of. That like every time you see this person they start out by by doing this with you to soften you up or something that's interesting we have a um possibly both air signs doesn't have to be or just extremely logical There's something about somebody wants to take take this from you and, and it's door to romance and door to healing and happiness. I don't know if they just want this energy from you or they want to take opportunities from you. Or they're trying to block this for you. I'm all, Initially when this came out, it was giving me confusion. This could be part of this like hypnotizing energy. Somebody will confuse you or tries to confuse you. They like butter you up and then they get you confused. Yeah, I've been seeing this come out for Divine Collective. Some of you are very uncomfortable because something is about to shift or something is about to change or come in or be fully put into balance. And you're like feeling really anxious and antsy for this. And it, it really isn't. I'm going to tell you it's not quite here yet. 
It's not quite here yet, but probably sooner than you think. Let's see if there's anything else. And they do. They want you to be patient. They want you to be patient and wise in this situation with something still going on. Let me go ahead and clarify what this person is hiding with this deceit here. Who is this person who's hiding, hiding a deceitful energy behind some sort of temple path, behind like religion or spirituality? Queen of Pentacles. Could be her, her earth sign or heavy earth sign placement. Does it have to be? This person could just be extremely fixated on like money. And it's very funny because look at this. This is drawing my attention right now. This person thinks they like hold all the cards or thinks that time is going to give them all the coins. And you're over here like holding on to time. Knowing that patience is the answer. I'm getting something about this. This is almost like a spiritual battle. This is giving me some sort of spiritual battle. But the thing is, is you're actually spiritual here. You actually are. You're divine collective. You're actually on a temple path. And you're being guided by spirit. And someone else here is being guided by possibly greed. What is this person hiding? What is this person hiding? Ace of Wands. They're trying to do something here. They're trying to spark up a new beginning. This is like putting a fiery passion into action. What are they trying to do? I'm going to go back in the other deck. What are they trying to do? I'm telling you, there is someone here. I don't know if this, I have another reading I'm posting today, but it's actually from yesterday. I don't know if that came out here or it came out a couple of days ago, but there is, there is someone who works together as like a team. They work together. Um, it's like a duo, but it's not, it's not what it seems. This is like a karmic couple. It's trying to do something here. Look at this woman holding a coin again. This is someone very greedy. Something here very likely is to do with finances. And they come off, they use like love or affection or, but it's just an act. I'm getting this is the energy of these two people. That this is how they're going to act. This is how they're going to act coming towards you, but you know better because this is your energy. I'm very likely talking to a divine feminine, but it doesn't have to be. You could be, you could be in and out of that energy. Honestly, um, someone who's in the divine collective, who has done a lot of spiritual work, inner work, ascending, all of these things, um, balancing, releasing, you can literally teeter in and out of masculine and feminine energy when necessary um so either way this is kind of like high priestess card this is kind of like earth angel um or however whatever you resonate with some of you uh, i don't know a lot about star seeds but but that's a thing too some of you could resonate with that kind of energy that's what this is here this is giving me like a love bomb situation Someone wants to come in with some sort of love bomb or is like teaching someone else to come in and do this. And you're being asked to stay in your strength. So what are they trying to do with this Ace of Wands here? What's this Ace of Wands? Yep. Mm, the magician in reverse. It's manipulation. Someone's going to try to come in and manipulate, manipulate you. I don't know why too. Someone, someone in this situation is either on something or they're very sick. One, both, the other. One of these, um, some, some karmic individuals involved are either on something or sick or both.
Yeah, they want to try and come in and trick you. This could be you. You're moving on from some sort of toxic energy, toxic cycle. Yeah, you're moving into the sun. You're moving into fulfillment, happiness, where you truly belong. Um, fulfillment within yourself. All of these things. You're moving into a really positive, happy place. And these people want to try to come in and kind of con you to stay stuck in some sort of toxic cycle. Yep, high priestess coming out. That's what I said. You're like a high priest or high priestess in your in your family, in your group. I'm also getting that that's how spirit helped move you out of this situation, whatever this is. But these these people here are like not done playing games. So what's a heads up? Can we need a heads up for Divine Collective? What are they like what are they trying to do here? Yeah. <laughs> what I say, someone here is like, this is a karmic couple, and another person is in on this, and they're in on on going there and and lie to them and and pet their hair and compliment their new outfit and get them to get them to warm up to you and offer them your your cup this is very like loving in this energy here very loving very your he this person's everything you hope they would be so they could do this so they could betray you and I really get you've been guided away from this. So this likely already happened and they want to do it again. So how do they want to betray the divine collective here? How, how do they want to betray? What are they trying to do to the divine collective? Something to do with money. Something to do with money. They might want to get you to give up something that you're holding on to. They want you to give up something you're holding on to or force you to give up something you're holding, holding on to. Something you care about the most. And whatever you're in possession of at this time that you care about the most, this could even be something to do with your family. Whatever you have, that's your justice that you're in this position right now. So please, this warning is don't fall for it. Definitely don't fall for it. What else? What else does the Vine Collective need to know about this situation? Yeah, strength. I've seen strength out here twice now. Just, just stay strong and know that this is this cycle is wrapping up. I did just see the world. So definitely the cycle is wrapping up. Or it's already over. Just as long as you don't fall for something here a manipulation don't fall for the manipulation don't be involved with these people don't go near them if you're being guided not to speak to them don't speak to them knight of coins here is someone who really wants to get finances in a hasty way So I feel like that's definitely something. Yeah. And here we have. This is a karmic lover who's been repeatedly. This is seven of swords. This person's repeatedly been deceptive. I don't know why there's something about these eyes. Someone in this situation is giving me kind of like dark, dark high priestess vibes. Like they have psychic intuition and they use it for bad. They use it for poor judgment poor choices. They use it to hurt people. So I'm getting some sort of energy of that connected to this situation in some way. Someone may be watching you. You could be guided to, to keep everything low key. Don't tell anyone. Don't show anyone. Keep doing that. Keep doing it as this wraps up. Will this wrap up soon? I hope this will wrap up soon. They're not necessarily going to tell me that, but
Wheel of Fortune. That's a yes, by the way, in the tarot. Wheel of Fortune. That is a yes. Again, timing. I, I just got through saying to you guys, some of you are feeling really impatient, especially if something is like really uncomfortable here about when, you know, when, when this timing is coming in, it's sooner than you think. There's a reason why I'm getting like, you already won this, but there's a reason why it's, it's like spirit is dragging this lesson out a little bit. They're really using you and your strength and your knowledge and your connection with them. I just saw, um, 1558, 58 is a very positive change in fortune. Again, we have, yes, we have a will of fortune out here. They're using you in this situation for something, for something here to teach, to teach somebody a lesson or something's working out very perfectly, not just for you, but also for the other people involved. Yeah, you are at the end of a cycle. Happiness awaits you now. Again, um, I feel the need to tell you that even if it may not feel like it or look like it, you've already won this. You've already won this. And at this point, you're already safe. Nothing's going to happen to you. Nothing more is going to occur unless, again, there's a, a warning here. If you, you fell for this person in the past, to not fall for this person again, but you're in a really strong energy. So I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, I have faith and hope something is coming here. Something positive and new on the horizon. This is what I was just saying. You are completely protected. The worst is behind you now. Just, just, just stay. You've probably already been guided for this, but that's a friendly reminder that this situation is working out perfectly for a reason. Again, it was coming out that someone may want to do something. Someone may want to harm you where it hurts. Um, there could be something to do with someone's family. I'm going to hold my mouth, but that is bleeping terrible. That is terrible shame on you. Whoever this, whoever you're dealing with here, shame on you. Yep. You are completely safe and at peace from this situation. You're coming out as a light worker. You may even do this professionally, or you are being guided to learn more about what you should be doing or what you're capable of doing. Again, it keeps, we're being guided a lot recently um, as Divine Collective. This could even be for you. This keeps coming out like someone in Divine Collective needs to know this. Maybe you're being really harsh with yourself. You're being harsh with someone else in the situation. Someone here is being guided to really gentle down. Focus on your healing right now. Um, be extra gentle and kind with yourself right now is going to help. That could even be part of what you are being guided to, to do at this time, to learn how to amplify your rejuvenation, your healing, your self-care, something like this here. Yeah, something, peace is here, a lot of peace, a lot of meditation, peace is out here like three times. Someone here is Divine Collective has an important part purpose. That is part of why you are being so deeply protected in this situation. Don't worry whatever comes your way. And please know it is, again, it's already over. This too is still pointing to me that someone needs to be more gentle with themselves right now and, and put more emphasis or focus on what you need for your healing. What else does the Divine Collective need to know? I 
I don't know why I'm getting this is like a karma. This situation could have been difficult because this person, you and this person have like a deep, a deep karmic tie or, or a long, this person might not even be like a karmic. They could have turned karmic at some point. But I'm getting with this card here that you and this person, probably the person you were intimate with, that you've been with this person many times before. And that's why it was very hard to disconnect. This could have been um, like a soulmate. A soulmate uh, like turned karmic, very karmic. Soulmate turned karmic lesson. And this is very important right now because it's out here again on the bottom that you are in this transformative place you were meant to go through this but now again you really need to focus on your healing which i think they're saying it's been difficult for you to do because technically this situation seems as if it has not been wrapped up yet it seems that way but you you the divine high priestess in this situation you know better, you know all aspects of the storyline, and it is what you think it is. It is what you think it is, and that's why they're reassuring you that it's possible the people that you're dealing with that keep on trying to come in for more and more don't realize that they're really on a hamster wheel that has been set into motion by God. Because God sees everything you do. Again, compassion is out here twice. Compassion is out here twice. Release judgments about yourself and others. This could have been how something started here. Like misunderstandings but they spun um, into a dangerous capacity. They spun wildly out of control. And again, there's something very, very big karmic lesson in here that was meant to occur the way that it occurred. And you may already understand this, but the other people involved don't understand this at this point, which is why this is still going on. Again, a karmic lesson can unfold in divine timing in a way where Everybody learns what they need to learn from it as it wraps up. I don't know why, but I'm also getting, and I'm getting goosebumps as I'm about to say this. So this is correct here. Part of the reason why this situation has occurred is actually because something, something about you, something about this situation you were dealing with people who completely lack this or maybe to um, have smoothed out a situation, there would have needed to be more balanced compassion. These, I feel like these people were, these people might've been judging you harshly. There's something here about like someone in this situation lacks, like they're not compassionate at all. They're not compassionate to you. They're not compassionate to your circumstances. They're not compassionate to, there's something about children here. Someone here, it's like, I know you've heard a lot of times like you irk their demons, something like that. That's what I'm getting from this with this compassion out here. This situation was meant to open up a group of people who lack compassion and, and really they're, they're very deceptive in the way they operate. They were meant to be taught something about, about who you are and what you are. This is like guiding children next to unconditional love. This can even be you as this, this divine, this light worker energy, this divine, um, empress high priestess energy that you're coming out as that your help at your you were meant to maybe help heal someone guide someone and it turned into some i feel like you and someone here once upon a time really loved each other but somehow something with compassion or judgment 
got involved or got in the way of this situation. This could be a big part of this lesson. Again, if you're not sure, just as I'm saying this, this is about connecting, connecting yourself with your higher self, with your spirit team. Even if you're not recognizing this in this moment on a soul level, you already know this. You knew this before you got here, that this situation was meant to do this. For some of you, not everybody, but some of you, this is literally your unawakened person. Or like some of you have your, um, have a twin flame, if that's, you know, so to speak, a lot of you call it a twin flame. Um, you have your twin flame in this lifetime. You're not, it's, it's like this. It's very deep high level spiritual love, like a 5d kind of connection, like you and this person truly love one another in the spirit. You may even be truly married in the spirit, but you've come here to, to give each other deep lessons of soul growth. Um, some of you, that is the case. And that is why this situation was so intense. That is why you and this person has such a hard time disconnecting. But again, someone in here is very compassionate and someone in here is very the opposite, which is dangerous. <laughs> that's, that's a dangerous person to be connected with someone who has zero, like the very opposite of this zero compassion. So that's part of what for some of you, this situation was, is again, this can be like someone's partner but all you were meant to do was like awaken growth in at least one of you. Someone here might have awakened and grew and transformed and the other one didn't. And the other one has to continue to do more lessons. Let me see if I can see this. Is there more lessons for this other counterpart? I don't know why. For some of you, I'm getting Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This is like a missed opportunity. So that's a yes. Someone here missed an opportunity. Look at that. Holy. Yep. Re this is like rejection. This is, if you see this card here, it's like an angel coming in and offering this opportunity. Someone's own person rejected their own counterpart. But bear with me. Whoever this is, they rejected their own twin flame. This is part of the lesson. This is about self-love. At the end of the day, your twin flame can be like your mirror. So if they look at you and something reminds them of something in themselves, it's either going to trigger them. They're either going to love it or they're going to hate it. This person was completely triggered. And what they didn't realize is a lot of what they were looking at getting upset with was aspects of themselves that were like dormant beneath them. And again, this lesson isn't over. And there is something very important about this person and their attachment to finances and attachment to the material aspect of things. And that's why they're connected to some sort of karmic. There's a major karmic lesson. This person has not finished learning. Because the person who came out in the beginning, they're connected to a karmic person who is also coming out as the queen of coins. These people are very interested in like finances and they lack compassion. They may even be using finances to manipulate a situation. This is like why I'm extending this reading a little bit because this is why this is happening. This is something very very intense or extreme for someone that you might not totally realize or understand. Again, you can have a twin flame that you are not meant to come into union with either in this lifetime or not anytime soon because you and this person agreed to come here and help grow and help go through difficult lessons that will spark something inside of someone or again, they may have to go through a whole nother cycle. They might have to go through a whole 10, 20 years thinking about some sort of missed opportunity here. This lesson may not even be over with. Again, 
but you need to know that your portion of things, you're free to just go on about your business and focus on your healing and move on and walk into your blessings, all of that stuff. Um, I hope this reading helps someone here. I hope this makes sense for you. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the reading and please have a wonderful weekend.